Hello from Antelope Valley Station in Beulah, North Dakota. Today is the 14th of September. My name is Dennis Mellon. I'm a civil engineer here at Antelope Valley. We've been in progress for about 93 days now. Uh, to date, we've done a lot of earthwork. We've been working very hard on our piling. We're doing this from an airplane so you can get a pretty good view of the general plant layout. Uh, at one time there was a wetland marsh that ran through the center of the area here. Uh, we received a permit from the Army Corps of Engineers to to fill that area and as you can see it pretty much all disappeared now. From this point you get a good look at the extent of the earthwork. Over in the southwest corner we built our construction runoff pond. This is one of the two construction runoff ponds for the project. Right below us is a high quality water pond. It's clay liner. The liner is pretty much fully installed. You can see a lot of water on the site. We had a very hard rainfall this last Tuesday night. We got about a little over two inches of rain and it caused considerable damage. We got water in just about every low spot on the site. You can see our south construction runoff pond holds water pretty well. We did have some serious damage on our peripheral drainage ditch. Uh, the west bank of it along the south construction runoff pond slid in so our design engineers are doing some quick reanalysis of our slopes on that ditch. In the main plant area you can see our three uh, our three pile driving rigs. Fortunately, the, the critical areas of work, the pile driving and the concrete work for the turbine generator area, weren't delayed too badly by the rain. We're now approximately 66 percent complete with our piling for the main plant and the critical boiler area. The steel piling is approximately well, it's over half complete in that area right now. Uh, this past month, we've we've picked up about 18 days on our concrete piling schedule. Our steel piling schedule is still running about 20 days behind schedule. Pretty tough to see it from here, but we're busy forming up the last section of our turbine generator block. We placed the, the earliest two sections earlier this month. That maybe you can see the two end sections are, are complete. We're now getting ready to place the middle section which will complete the bottom portion of the block. This we hope to do tomorrow. This was also set back a couple days because of the rainfall. The large concrete pipe and laying in the ditch and on the bank over to this side is uh, the beginning of our circulating water line. We are starting the first section of that. We got approximately 50 pieces of pipe set before the big rain hit. The trench is pretty well dried out now. Uh, Tuesday morning there was approximately five feet of water in that trench. The smaller concrete pipe you see on this side of the main plant is will be the pipe for our storm sewer system. We've got it laid out. We still haven't started installation of it. As a general estimate, some of our contractors probably lose about a week on their schedule because of the cleaning up necessary for the rainfall. As I said earlier, fortunately the critical areas in the boiler area and the turbine generator area they received the, less, the least damage and probably only set back maybe a couple days.
our peripheral drainage ditch starts here on the east side of the site, runs along the north side, turns and goes down the south side of the site, pardon me, down the west side of the site. It extends all the way down past the, the bottom, the south boundary of our site, along the west boundary of the ANG site, then turns at about a 45 degree angle, cuts across the bottom, the south side of ANG site, and empties into a drainage ditch to the southeast. 